Now in this chapter, let's see how we can work with application insights. So what are we going to do in our lab? Let's look at the steps. So we are going to go ahead and create a simple web project in Visual Studio. We'll actually add the application insights telemetry locally. We'll then create a new Azure app service along with application insights. We'll then publish our local web application. We'll see some of the aspects we can see with application insights. So let's go ahead with our lab. So here I'm in Visual Studio. Now let me go ahead and create a new project. So let me go ahead and choose an ASP.NET web application. Click on next. Let me give the required details for this application. So I'll go ahead and choose the required details for this application. So the framework is 4.7.2. Let me go on to create. So I can go ahead and create has an MVC application. Go ahead and hit on create. So once I have the application in place, so if you go ahead and run the application, again, it's a default template that's available for the MVC application that you have in Visual Studio. So you have your home page, you have the about page and you have the contact page. Right, so now let me go ahead and stop running this application. Now I can go ahead, right click on the project. I can go ahead on to add. I can go ahead and add application insights telemetry. So what this is going to do is that it's going to install the application insights SDK into the project. And we can see more information about the requests that are being made onto our web application. So let me go ahead and hit on get started. Now, when you go ahead and do this, it will also ask you to register your application with Application Insights in Azure. Now, we won't do this right now. Now, I'll go down and just add the SDK to try the local mode only. So now it's going to go ahead and add the required packages onto our project so that we can make use of Application Insights. Once this is done, now if I go ahead and run the application, so let me go ahead and exercise the different parts of the application again. Go back on to the home page. Now, if I go on to Visual Studio, over here you can see there is another tab known as Application Insights. You can go ahead and click on it. If I just put this down, here you can see now all the requests that are being made onto your web application. You can also go ahead and see what is the response code and you can also see the response time. So now you're getting a better understanding of all the details of the requests which are being made onto your application. So as you keep on exercising your application, the different pages of your application, you'll be able to see the response time and the response code. So you can do this locally and we can also do it from Azure as well. So now let me go ahead on to Azure. So let me go ahead and now create a new app service resource. So I'll go ahead and click on add resources. I'll choose web app. I'll choose my subscription and the resource group. I'll give a unique web app name. I'll choose the publish method as code. I'll choose the runtime stack as ASP.NET version 4.7. I'll leave the region as it is. For now, let me go ahead and leave even the SKU and size of the app service plan. This will also work with the basic app service plan. For now, I'll just leave it as it is. I'll go on to next for monitoring. And over here, this time, I'm gonna go ahead and enable application insights. Now they're gonna go ahead and create a new application insights resource and tag that application insights resource on my app service. So I'll go on to next for the tags, go on to review and create. And then we go ahead and create this web app. Now let's come back once this is in place. Now once the deployment is complete for your resource, let me go on to all resources. Now over here, there is a separate resource known as application insights that gets created along with your app service. 
So if we go on to the application insights resource, there are many aspects that are available with application insights. So let's go on to the live metrics section. So when you go on to the live metrics, here you can see metrics about your incoming and your outgoing requests. So now what I'll do is that from Visual Studio, now let me go ahead and publish this project onto my app service. So I'll go ahead and select existing, create a profile. So I'll go ahead and choose my app service, click on OK. Let me go ahead and hit on publish. Now once the publish is complete, and when you go on to your web application in Azure, so again, let's go ahead and exercise the different parts of our web application. So I'm going on to the different pages. Now, if you go on to the application insights over here, you can now see there's a change in the request rate, the request duration in terms of the incoming requests. So over here, you are seeing live telemetry about your application itself. Now, if you go on to the performance section, so in the performance section, if you scroll down, here you can see each of the operations for, for each of the get requests for the various pages of your web application. Here you can see the average duration and you can see the number of times each page was called. So over here, you can go ahead and get various performance metrics for your applications. So application insights is a good tool that gives you live insights into your web applications. Right, so this marks the end of this chapter. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs. Success certified.